Three out of four of Birmingham's Citizens Advice Bureau are facing closure because of cuts of up to 50% to budgets. Around 50,000 people use the service every year. Well, this latest development comes as new research shows over half of local authorities are cutting their contracts with voluntary groups. Here's BBC WM's political reporter, Elizabeth Glinker. For many, it's the place they turn when there's nowhere else to go. Annie Rabienska came to Birmingham Citizens Advice Bureau because unexpected illness means she's unable to work and she's struggling to get by. The situation I'm in is nothing that I would have expected, I wouldn't have anticipated, but you know, you can just never tell what's going to come up in this life, no matter how well you think you have planned your affairs. Things go wrong, and they have for me at the moment. So what do you think of the service which is offered by the Citizens Advice Bureau in Birmingham? I think it's excellent. I don't know how they do it, because that waiting room out there is full of people. I don't know how they get through the caseload, the work. But funding cuts from national and local government mean the service is now in jeopardy. Birmingham Citizens Advice Bureau has serious financial problems. In the last year, it lost £340,000 worth of funding from Birmingham City Council. This year, it will lose three quarters of a million pounds in legal aid funding from the government. And it could still lose a further £400,000 of public health money. Having already closed one open centre last year, three of the remaining four are now heading the same way. We are in a desperate situation and we need to reach out to the people and businesses of Birmingham and the council to ask them to help us to be there for people in the future. And the story is being repeated across the sector. The latest research found that more than half of local authorities are cutting funding to voluntary groups. If those charities aren't there anymore, people that use them will still need advice. So they'll be coming back to the local authority later. So my surprise here is that they might save money in the short term, but it will cost them more money in the long term. In a statement, Birmingham City Council said the authority is facing significant financial pressures because of national budget reductions, but that it remains committed to working with the third sector. The Citizens Advice Bureau must now find one and a half million pounds to keep its doors open. Elizabeth Glinker, BBC Midlands Today. The chairman of the